What's new in Washington this week? This is a look at the new U.S. News Weekly, our paper-free digital magazine. Hello, I'm Brian Kelly. A series of firsts coming for Barack Obama as president. His first trip to Europe, his first summit with the Group of 20 Nations, his first one-on-one -on -one meeting with the leader of Russia, and his first trip to a Muslim nation, just to name a few. All along the way, he needs to sell his financial reforms to the world, just what he did this past week at home. Obama pitched his economic plan on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, sat down with 60 Minutes, and held a primetime news conference. This crisis didn't happen overnight, and it didn't result from any one action or decision. It took many years and many failures to lead us here, and it will take many months and many different solutions to lead us out. The latest efforts of the Obama administration to shore up the economy were well received on Wall Street this past week, perhaps a sign that Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner just might weather the AIG bonus debacle. Geithner's been busy, first announcing a trillion-dollar blueprint to purge the banks of toxic debt, and then unveiling a plan to overhaul financial regulation. In the midst of the financial crisis and the new age of corporate criminals, the FBI is going old school to crack down on white-collar crime. The Bernie Madoffs of the world are being put on notice. In just the last five weeks, the Bureau has opened up dozens of fraud cases. Our cover story this week, a look at the special courts popping up to help former soldiers in trouble with the law. At least eight such courts have opened in the past year or will soon. Critics say it's about giving preferential treatment to veterans. But supporters counter that these courts are better suited to deal with soldiers having problems adjusting to life away from the battlefield. And finally, they knew it was coming, so some of his buddies set out to make sure George W. Bush's record wasn't maligned. Thus, 43alumni.com was born. While it's mostly a networking site, it includes a section called Setting the Record Straight. An aide tells me that the goal is to counter political charges or stories that just misstate the Bush record. It's still under construction, but it should be fully operational by summer. Paul Bedard also has the buzz on the nation's first beekeeper. Republicans visiting the White House better watch out. Just kidding. Find out what the bees are really all about in Washington Whispers. It's all in the U.S. News Weekly, so go to usnews.com slash subscribe and get our digital magazine delivered each week to your inbox. See you next week.